Hi, this is Will from Engagement.com, and what I want to do today is review some gear from a French company called Arva. When I head out into the back country, and I've just come back now, then I tend to think in terms of different kinds of tours. Some tours I'm taking heavier gear with me, some tours I'm taking lighter stuff with me. And uh, I've got this full setup from Ava that really fits into, fits very well into that lighter gear setup. So it includes a Spark 240 probe. What do I like about this probe? Well, it is super small, packs down small, super light, and it's really efficient to assemble. So I'm just gonna throw it, pull, and uh, there's a little button that comes out here, and that is it. It's, it's assembled. I then put the handle back on itself, and I've got a, a bit of a handle right here. So really easy, and then also really easy to collapse. If you don't need much, then this is a really nice 240 centimeter probe. Now there is times when I'm going out and I don't think 240 is enough. However, when I'm touring in mainly non-avalanche terrain, having this just in case is good. And the fact that it's so small means I carry it. Along the same lines, we've got the Plume TS shovel. And the Plume TS, the TS basically means it's telescoping. Again, super small, packs down super small, and is very, very light. It's an efficient little shovel. If I was trying to dig a ton of snow, then I'd be wanting a bigger shovel. And so if I'm out on a high avalanche, if I'm out on a day where I think there is a possibility that someone might get caught, or if I'm gonna be digging a snow shelter, then I'm gonna bring a bigger shovel. But for most of what I do, just like I carry a small first aid kit, I, I, I really like just carrying smaller gear that I'm not likely to use, but if I do use it, I've got it with me. And uh, this stuff by Arva fits into that mode. It's, it's really sort of schemo style gear. Um, but even if I'm in non-avalanche terrain, I like to carry it just in case, hopefully never to use it. Finally, we've got the Evo 5 beacon. Again, super small. This just uses one AA battery. It's got a 50 meter claimed range. I think it's a tiny bit less than that, but not a lot. If you keep your grids in the 40 meter range like they teach you to in avalanche classes, then this is ample for that. Again, it's super simple, super intuitive. What I love about it is there's a group check when I first turn it on so I can make sure that my group has their beacons turned on. I can mark individuals if I want to. I tend to try and turn people's beacons off. But it's the size. You, you use this because of the size. And quite frankly, this season, I don't think I've bought my more burly gear out once. I think I've just been on the lightweight gear all the time. It reverts to send. If you're in search too long, you've really got to make sure you turn it off. The one thing that I would say is just like any beacon, you need to practice with it if you're going to use it. Certainly, I felt way better um, prepared for bracketing with this, having spent my early days using a, um, an analog beacon. You've got to slow down a little bit. You've really got to bracket carefully. And uh, however, you spend a little bit of time learning that. And this is a very, very effective beacon and comes in at well, it's like two thirds of the size of most beacons. So 
I love it. I just use it with a waist belt, pop it in a pocket. Life is good. So that is three items from Ava that uh, I think are worth checking out. Like I say, it's a French company. They've not got a, a big name here. However, they, they make really good gear. It's robust. It's going to last. It's um, well designed. And thankfully, they've made a bunch of light stuff. And I really do appreciate that. So that was Wilfred Gearman looking at the Spark 240 Probe, the Plume TS Shovel, and the Evo 5 Beacon. All get thumbs up from me. And like I say, this is my these are my daily drivers at the moment. Thank <laughs> you.